130,474 of you got that right. He was the first president, the first U.S. president to reside in the White House. Congratulations. Question number five. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, question five, question five. Which of these is the correct spelling of a, of a synonym for pumping? Highfalutin, highfalutin, oh highfalutin. Which one is it? The correct spelling. Yeah, we threw in a spelling question. Woo! This reminds me of when I was in the spelling bee, and I know she said, she said helicopter, but I spelled hospital, because that's where I needed to go. I had stage fright. Uh, <laughs> how do you spell helicopter? I was like, H-O-S-P-I-T-A. All right. As if that clears things up, right? I don't know. It clears up nothing! Highfalutin! Doesn't have a G on the end. Highfalutin. Yeah, 71,045 of y'all got that one right. That was a tricky one, but, you know, we're doing, we're doing what we can, okay? I'm being nice. Mama Vivian. Question six! Here we go! Yeah! All the other kids with the question six, you better tap, better tap, tap on your phone screen. There's a candy that shares its name with a bowling-like long, long game. Try saying that three times fast. That was a, a mouthful of words. Okay. You guys ready? This is still played in some European pubs with many variations and rules. Playing field size and number of pins. However, you won't find rainbow tasting in any rule book for Skittles. Look at that! That's how you play the game! What the heck is that nowadays? It was spinning. I ain't never played Skittles in my life. We ain't never had Skittles in the hood. Except the candy. Alright, 46, 48,280 of you got Skittles correctly. So y'all probably know some European people. Cool beans. Question 7, babies. Which U.S. state is currently divided? Two points. 
and very occasionally won. But the fairly rare fair catch kick is scored as a field goal for, for a field goal for three points. Whoa, that's another savage question. Woohoo, okay. Savage quest twice. That question wasn't nice. Savage quest twice. Fair catch kick. Just answer. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. 1,243, y'all got that right. I would have got it wrong, because I don't know jack about sports. There, I said it. Question 10, here we go, my friends. What Lord of the Rings character was in the book? Tom Bombadil, uh, Farmer Maggot, or Barnamain Butterbur? Bombadil, Tom Bombadil, Farmer Maggot, or Barnamain Butterbur? Okay. Innkeeper, Barlam and Butterbur managed to squeeze into the film. And the Shire's own Farmer Maggot got his fleeting moment of fame. But our man Tom was just too Damn, 1,242 y'all got that one right. Cheers to you. That was me raising my imaginary glass of mead. <laughs> okay, here we go. Question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. Yeah. Which is a playable race in World of Warcraft? Mm. I'm going to play. Which one of them is in World of Warcraft? A playable race. Let's see. Elves are playable in the world of Azeroth. But... You have to pick Night Elf or Blood Elf. The only High Elves are non-player characters. And no expansion has yet come out that lets you be a fairy. But you can definitely go Gnome whenever you want. 828 of y'all are moving on to Question 12! Woo! Question 12! Here it is. Let's go. Let me straighten the tie out. Get fly. <laughs> Fresh. Roger Ebert. Infamous. Mm -hmm. Film directed by who? Harold Ramis? Even Ivan Reitman? Or Rob Reiner? <sighs> Thank goodness you guys can read the answers as I'm trying to read them. You can read them yourself because there's a low. Try saying old expected. You know, you, you get it, okay? It's one of the three. Time's up now. Here we go. It's a critic's job to hate some things, but Ebert really opened the floodgates on the bizarre tale of a boy in search of new parents. North, a real career low for the man behind a few good men and the Princess Bride, Mr. Rob Reiner. Yeah, we got 618 winners! Woo!